Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Healing Body, Mind, and Soul with Ariel. This is Ariel Asher. I'm your host, and I have the good fortune today to be here with one of my fabulous friends, one of my superstar besties, Erica Gimbel. And I have to tell you a little bit about Erica. She is just sweet as can be. She's like a little, she's like a little fairy to me. She just always has this positive, positive um, energy. And um, I've seen her lots of times when I'm speaking. She's always in the back of the room, keeping the energy up and making everything so wonderful. She is up to all kinds of good um, healing body, mind, and soul on the planet. And so I thought that she would be a perfect fit for our conversation about whole self healing and how people can take charge of their own self healing. So without further ado, I'll let her tell you a little bit about some of the work that she does. Please welcome Erica Gimbel. Hello. Hi, how Erica. are you? Hi, it's so Hi. fun to be on here with you, and hello to all you humans out there. It's so so sweet to get to connect and, and say hello and reach out, and I'm, I'm so honored, so thank you for inviting me. Isn't technology wonderful that we it's, get to it be It blows here? my mind, actually. I know. <laughs> it's, really, it's really wonderful. I um, could be talking to Australia right now, right? It's you like, could be and probably yeah. are talking to somebody in Australia. Okay, well, I say hello to you. <laughs> Put a <laughs> shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Erica, um, I think you're in San Francisco, are you? Or is that I, correct? I am in Oakland, California. I'm originally from New York and I lived in Vermont for seven years. I, you know, so I, I lived all over this. I've, I've been up and down the Eastern seaboard, seaboard and now I'm here in Oakland. I work in San Francisco. I have a practice there in an office and a practice there with a, a psychotherapy client. And um, so I do counseling there from my office, yes. Oh, tell us a little bit about your background. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm a New York State licensed massage therapist. I <laughs> am. <laughs> that means something to people from New York. Um, I I used to be uh, performing, acting, singing, dancing, stand-up comedy in New York, and I did that for a whole bunch of years there. It sounds like I'm so old, but I'm not. Um, but you know, so I I, I performed stand-up comedy and, and, and acting in New York. And um, in order to support my theater habit, I became a massage therapist and also- That's exactly the same story as mine, only oh, yeah. in California. Well, <laughs> a, a hidden secret is that if you want to get a lot of massages, go to massage school, it's the best. And um, it was such a great experience and it re really helped to you know, be more comfortable in my body to get all these massages and learn. And that was actually uh, one day of, of somebody I inspired to go to massage school. They told me about this somatic psychology program out here in the Bay Area. So I went to that program. I changed my life, left, left my perfectly awesome massage practice in New York and came out to the Bay Area to become a I mean, psychotherapist and um, not a psychotherapist. <laughs> Um, so, um, so yeah, I changed my life, and and then so I do all sorts of deep spiritual work with that. Um, I work with a lot of people with PTSD and trauma, and um, people with physical pain, people who have um, Parkinson's, other kinds of neurological de degenerative conditions. Um, that seems to be my area of expertise, as well as uh, you know creative block type. We, we use the artist way a lot for people and I've, I've run artist way groups and that's just a hoot. And I just recommend that book up and down for everybody who starts working with me. It's really helpful. Um, I also love the book, A Path with Heart by Jack Cornfield for starting to do uh, that deep work and it seems to be really helpful as well. Awesome. Um, yeah. I, how funny, I was just writing a blog about the, um, 
how one of the first um, things that I did years and years ago was I um, got myself, somebody gave me a copy of The Artist's Way. That's so funny. I just was writing about this topic yesterday. We're so in sync and, and we always do that with each other when we um, talk to each other. Um, yeah. And I love that. I love that you were, um, that you had, um, I did not go to a somatic um, psychology, although I did um, look very seriously at a couple programs but I'm still doing a little bit of body work. But for all of the reasons that you mentioned, I love my vibrational sound therapy. That is really, it's really doing it for me. And um, for some reason, you know, when you're into something, you just notice more and more stuff. I'm seeing all these documentaries um, about Tesla and, um, and I'm seeing all, and I don't mean the cars for those of you listening. I mean, Nikola Tesla, the famous scientist who, um, who talks about um, energy, sound and vibration. And, um, and um, even a movie that I watched the other day, all of a sudden it turned out that a guy in the movie was a crazy inventor and was doing something similar um, to that. So right now for me, like all this crazy science is coming through, all this wonderful um, crazy science to help empower people. I love that um, we have technology to talk to each other and we have ancient sciences to heal ourselves and to, um, I don't know, just create a better experience here on the planet. Erica. Amen to that. Amen oh to my, that. Oh my gosh. And One I have thing, a lot to say about that, like the sanity practices to, I want to teach a class called Sanity for Insanity and, you know, all the ways that we can um, get harness tools so we can function and not, you know, lose it. <laughs> There's so much need for that. So, so yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you're doing that work, Ariel. And I, I'm such a fan of your work. I know. And well, likewise, for sure, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. You know, um, so, you know, tell us, tell us, um, tell us what you're inspired about in your work right now. Okay, I'm, I'm just letting uh, my next person know that I may be a few minutes late. Um, so let's see, what I'm really inspired about now, I just got a chance to um, be assisting in this trauma training that I just adore this work. And uh, this is like my fourth time doing this training. And um, one of the, the kind of tenets of this training is this idea of the little micro movements. It may sound weird, but like we, humans are connected way back to the most primordial creatures, amoebas and paramecium, all the way up to, you know, the primates and, but, um, and all the way, everything through. So this sounds a little cuckoo, but, but, you know, if you saw me right now, if you could see me on this video, you could see that I'm moving my body as I'm talking to Ariel, and um, the littlest movements can be so helpful and healing, and so many, many of my um, clients, they've gone through these major kinds of traumas, and upsets in their life, and there's a lot of constriction, and the opposite of constriction is expansion. So if you just listen to my voice, listen to me talk to Ariel, like the littlest movements can be so helpful and healing, and we call them micro movements. And so those little micro movements, as if you're finding the wave in your body. So people with paralysis have done this. People who can't move, what, what society has said, oh, you're paralyzed, you can't do this, you can't move. This is the opposite of that is, yes, you can. You can find space, you can find the movement, you can find a way to just give that little bit of air to something you didn't even think you could move. And I have found personally that that's really helped me function in my body. And I have a very interesting like birth story of stuff going down for my body. So this has been like huge for me. And then I guide people to find where they can have that space or expansion in their body. So that's been, I've been really jonesing on this and having fun with it with my clients and, and uh, you're laughing at me now. <laughs> I love, I love it. you've been jonesing on it. It's all I'm off. jonesing on it. And, um, you know, it, it, I just went skiing a, for a day and a half and I'm so grateful that my back is good and my back's not out and, so the whole time before, during, and after, I was those little micro movements, like like as if I'm an undulating 
banana slug or I'm an undulating paramecium. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got it. I yeah, got so, it. So yeah. That's well, I totally believe in that. And, and vibrational sound, um, the modality that I've been doing too, I, I love like Feldenkrais and all of, the, all of these intentional movement. And I love this micro movement and the vibration of the sound. All of those micro movements work because we're like 70 to 80% water, right? Exactly. So it's that, right, right, right. It's that ripple effect and, right. you know, and that wave and that wave effect. You know, it's exactly. so funny. I always tell my clients, you know, I always ask my clients, how much water are you drinking? How much water are you drinking? Yes. Yes. Um, because it's so important and it's not a weight loss thing. It's not even about that. It's about how well everything can flow, right? How well, how much space is in between everything and how well everything can flow and move without constriction. I love that you're doing that. And I love that um, you're teaching your clients, um, your clients all about that. Yeah. And it's really simple. And, and it sounds like, it sounds like, oh, we, we can easily complicate, but this is really that simple and bringing in the breath with that. And then finding the stillness, finding the micro movements and the big, larger movements. So, so I'm happy to share info about that if anybody's interested and also just you know, the resources of, of what's possible. Um, you know, so many people are going through traumas or war or, you know, all sorts of disasters, all that. And this is like hope where there wasn't hope before, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that you're a light to help people come out of that kind of darkness, um, Erica. That is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Erica, can you tell um, anybody who might want to get in contact with you or find out more about some of the work that you're doing in your practice? Um, can you tell them how they can reach you? Sure, sure, sure. So you, you're talking to me, Erica Gimble, and you can spell that with a K. That's Erica with a K in there, not a C or a CK, just, just K. And my last name is Gimble, like the department store that went out of business, G I M. B E L. If that's complicated, you could just go to this website, getkidsgrowing.com. That's getkidsgrowing.com. And that's another way you can, you, you can see some of the things I'm doing with fruits and vegetables. And, um, but either of those, you should be able to get to me and find my email and my phone number and all that. And, and uh, you can, you can um, see what I'm up to for sure. Getitgrowing.com. No, no, no. Get, get kids growing. Dot com. Say one more time. I'm sorry. Get kids growing. So kids as in like kids. Get kids growing. I'm oh, so oh, sorry yeah. I didn't hear yeah, you. Yeah. I'm, so, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, let's yeah. make sure that our, our listeners have it straight, even if I even if I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. And that's a whole nother side of what I do is I help people get the plant powders into their bodies. And I also help people grow their own food vertically with no dirt. And it's a real call. I love those. Tell, tell us really quickly. Um, <laughs> tell us really quickly. I know we're trying to wrap up, but I just love them. I love the tower garden. It's so cool. Yeah, tell exactly. us a little bit about it. Tell us a little yeah, bit yeah, about yeah, yeah. it. And why I you will, love it. I will. I will. I will. And I think my next person can give us a couple extra minutes if we need it, but we might okay. not need it. Um, so, um, the, yes, the vertical farm or vertical garden is a way to, it's like an ATM machine for food. You know, you just <laughs> go over to your own little garden and you grow what you want to grow. And it's really easy. It saves you 90% of the water. And it is, I have mine, I have mine up for seven years now. I have family and friends and schools and senior centers and kids organizations are growing with these um, food machine now and it's it's really amazing it's it's better than therapy in that you know you are the oh you are taking charge of your food and your food source and um a, one of my favorite teachers says we're pollinating plants instead of each other so for the kids you know for kids to pollinate plants and not each other and to give a care about what we're doing and putting in our bodies so i could go on and on about that it's really um 
it's really powerful. I, I still get the light. You know, if you could see me right now with Ariel talking to her, you could see my little guys right here. I mean, how cute is that? <laughs> These are the little guys. So, so yeah, if you can't see me, you can also look at that Get Kids Growing website and you'll see what we're growing and what's going, what's growing on, basically. What's growing on? What's growing, what's on? growing on? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it's really okay. a love fest of food and realness with our food. There's so much crap in our water, air, and food, and this is a way to know exactly what you're doing with your food. Right. I think it's wonderful. And I think it's wonderful to empower, ki to empower kids. So that's Get Kids Growing. Yes, um, ma'am. All right. Well, Erica, I want to thank you so much for being here today. It's been such a delight to speak to you as usual. Yay. And we weren't even that giggly. Sometimes Erica and I get pretty giggly, but we kept it together pretty well for our listeners. Yes, Don't we did. Forget if you love this episode, please leave us some comments in the comment section below. Um, yes, I would if you would like to, to get hold of Erica, you can see her um, link and email and bio below in the podcast notes. And I want to thank everybody for being here today. And until next time, happy healing. <laughs>